So then we are back with the modern understandings from the time of the second tabernacle services where we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yerushiahu the prophet. We have then the understandings of the spring feast, the autumn feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid waste for many centuries. As we read then Yerushiahu the prophet, we find the 61st chapter then the first section completed regarding the spring feast found in Leviticus the 23rd chapter, then the second portion of the initial area of the 61st, and then the second portion being the autumn feast not yet completed. So as the world then is changing, from a thousand years of deceit and a thousand years of doing trade absolutely scoundrelized, we are finding ourselves then studying the holy instructions and understanding then what it means of returning the trade as used to be during the time of the Messiah, where then the sons of Ishmael, obviously the Arab nations, regarding then these nations of trade you find then the 62nd chapter of Yerushiahu giving enlightenment as far as, as the returning of the importance of the Arab nations in charge of trade. Not only this, but we find also the 37th chapter of Ezekiel explaining the restoration of both sticks of authority. A stick of authority of trade and the other regarding tabernacling regarding the first son and the second sons. You find then these sons obviously joining up. There are many aspects we can evaluate and make an analysis of how these joining is going to be. But so far China is leading the trade of this world and we find sections of the 11th chapter, the entire chapter of 10. Tenth chapter is then dedicated to China. Then you find sections of the eleventh and parts of the twelfth chapter. Let's then evaluate what's going on then in Iraq. The United States has then obviously taken some sort of a strange lead as far as, as bombarding then the northern section of Iraq via then the fighters coming from the flat tops but then you find that these decision was not made in conjunction with the international group and that's where then the problem starts as the Gulf War was then obviously decision making from these countries as far as, as we understand United States taking the lead and not joining the international group as far as, as how to act then you find people being slaughtered without a chance of justice Libya for instance was a problem the leader of Libya was then slaughtered was not given a chance of justice you find then Saddam was also destroyed without a chance of justice these areas are becoming more and more evident as we understand the 11th chapter of Daniel. Daniel, the 11th chapter, is a bit complicated understanding it. However, when you separate sections of it and relates with the nations involved, then becomes easier the understanding of the behind the scenes situation. Let's then understand what this means. The Kingdom of the North is the Soviet Union yet rejoining themselves and conquering their own land and making a very powerful nation. The largest nation in the world is the Soviet Union. You find the Kingdom of the South being Africa. You find then the re-establishment of tabernacling in northern Sudan known as the land of Kush. Then the Kingdom of the East being China a power factory of this world. You find then where is United States in the 11th chapter of Daniel. Very simply, 
11th chapter, the 21st verse, you find the despised one. The despised one is United States. Why is then this nation that it was then obviously the enlightenment of so many years after the Second World War has become then the despised one? It's a very simple understanding. Revelation explains regarding then both beasts, the first and second, a beast found then on land and the other in the ocean. You find then a thousand years of deceit divided by a couple of sections. One of them 800 years, the other a couple of 100 years. And at the moment, U.S. is trying to extend the time of the deceit of the thousand years. And then, obviously, there are signs of rejection. You find rejection of spying in the Internet. You find then rejection in Germany regarding then spying in their own government. You find then the GPS system being obviously excluded from many nations of this world. Not only this, but the despised one is truly the United States because of its insistence in maintaining its own rulership where places in the world are then joining themselves for the new system. The BRICS is already strengthening itself and then the countries involved with this system, they are going to have the money in roughly 24 months. The BRICS bank is going to be available for the new system. So then, what's going on in Iraq as far as the other military militias going on over there regarding religion and their own way of doing things? What can we understand of those people? Firstly, we should not be involved. The situation is this. There is the humanitarian help then helping those people get through until the international group makes a decision on what to do. It's truly sometimes international group takes a long time. They drag themselves and they don't make decisions. As they are consulted, should give then a deadline for the final decision on what to do. It can drag on forever. At the same time, U.S. is already starting then the striking of the northern side of Iraq and there are talks of soldiers being on the ground. And then U.S. is considering of having Great Britain once again joining them up. Great Britain should stay away from them, should not get involved until the international group makes a decision. The Gulf War was already a scoundrelous situation, and then the reputation of Tony Blair as Prime Minister of Great Britain was damaged because he went ahead without the information from the international group and he got himself in trouble. So then, as we understand these areas, we then read the 11th chapter and 21st verse explains then the relationship of the kingdom of the north, kingdom of the south, then you understand the despised one trying to get in the midst of it. As we read these scenarios, you find in the involvement of the Kingdom of the North, the Soviet Union, and U.S. And then later on, after U.S. and the Soviet Union are joining then with the Kingdom of the South, explaining then Africa, later on there is a section where you understand the armies and then the covenants. You find then Israel involved with the war in Gaza, understandably. But the problem is Israel should be concerned with tabernacling on the land of Kush, northern Sudan. You find then Israel trying to establish themselves and then re-establishing the first tabernacle service. And it is the abomination is spoken of then the Messiah himself making a reference of in the 24th chapter. How should we go with this? It's very simple. Let U.S. then deal with the problem by itself. Because the international group is not being consulted truly. So then, as we wait for this humanitarian help, 
from the international group. We only must evaluate then the relationship of the Kingdom of the South, Africa, and the Kingdom of the North, then Soviet Union. And as we understand, U.S. and the Soviet Union, they are not having the same viewpoint in every area. But obviously, because the despised one is simply United States. As we isolate these sections, Kingdom of the North, as you read then in the 11th chapter of Daniel, as you understand the Kingdom of the North, the Soviet Union, as it was during the time of the 60s, but this time it's not ruling by force, it is protecting trade. Then the Kingdom of the South, you understand then Africa, speaking of Sudan. And then the Kingdom of the East is then China. And as these nations, they are preparing for the new system, you find a despised one trying to force himself through these powerful nations and then later become the despised one. As we understand this section, should Great Britain be involved in this war? Obviously not. Because the events, the flow of events is obviously showing the events prior of the events themselves. So then, should we be more concerned with what nations then are doing? Absolutely. Should we be concerned with the despised one? There are sections of it that we should, because there is a linker yet lacking and then transactions of computers and many areas regarding then the riches that coming from these linking of systems. So then, what can we understand as far as then the city or the cities? Later on, after the despised one, you find then the ruler of a covenant. You find this in the 23rd chapter. Rather, but then the 23rd verse of the 11th chapter. And then you find in the 23rd chapter of Yerushiahu the prophet. Then you find the freighters. You can read for yourself. Because these areas, as you find in the covenant, you find then the second covenant, as we understand there is only a covenant, but the second word of covenant, related with the same, was the completion of the first. Then later on you find then the freighters, you find then ships. But as we understand the purpose of the 11th chapter of Daniel, you find then the 23rd chapter of Yerushiahu, rather, in the 11th chapter of Daniel, you understand the link regarding these areas of trade. Yerushiahu explaining trade in the 23rd chapter, and you find the 11th chapter explaining then the scenarios of the political arena as far as how these nations are playing amongst themselves. But it is very clear as you read then the trying of the establishment of the first service regarding the covenant, then you find the other covenant as described as evildoers. You find in Israel trying to re-establish the first tabernacle service and in the sacrificial system you find then the Levitical priests in Israel at this very moment learning the whole procedures of these areas of sacrifices. It is an abomination. Even in Brazil there is a part of the temple being restored and then a functioning some sort of a tabernacle of their own but it's not the temple of Solomon for sure or Shlimon and then later you find the establishment of the vision. The vision simply means during this time of the restoration is then the returning of the holy cities of the Messiah laid away from many centuries. That is the, obviously the establishment of the vision. Vision of Yerushiah the prophet chapter 1-8. Because Daniel is making a reference of the establishment of 
these holy cities as they used to be. He is speaking from the past, yet in the future. As we read these sections, you find then there are many areas of the relationship with the kingdom of the north, kingdom of the south, kingdom of the east. You find then the despised one then trying to infiltrate this system and being despised. Then comes the relationship of the first covenant and then Gog and Magog. Later on you find the despised one is then involved with Israel and Israel and U.S. being the despised areas of what then the instructions are saying to us. Then the abomination. The first abomination is the beast. You understand then 800 years was given then to Great Britain and they led the world. A couple of hundred years gave to U.S. Thus then the first and second beasts. Later on, you find these relationships then becoming in revelation because of unification of a covenant, an evil covenant, then you find the despised one being then the false lamb and then joining up themselves becoming then Gog and Magog organizing the war of the end. Amazingly, as we understand as far as the Soviet Union was and is a great power and then having bombs to destroy the world ten times over, amazingly, China won't release any atomic weapon, neither the Soviet Union. The only countries that shall release destructive atomic bombs shall be then Israel and United States. That's when we read Zechariah, you understand a couple of galals. Galals of 10 cubits, the other 20 cubits. And then those galals flying in the air. You understand then when they hit the ground, you find then in Arabia and you find then in China. These, as we can understand, is played out with a combination of Yerushiah the prophet, because Daniel had a copy of Yerushiah. He did understand of Yerushiah's prophecies. He had copies of Yermiah during his time when he was a boy. We understand these prophets, they had references of the previous generations and these was then given on and then Daniel did have the understanding of these. Truly, as far as the Gentiles are concerned, any area related with covenant is related with tabernacling. Understandably, you find then a false ruler of the covenant, meaning Israel, trying to reestablish the first service. You find then the second word covenant related with establishment of the vision simply means then tabernacling, as it was spoken of by Yerushiah the prophet chapter 1 8 in the returning of the holy cities. Then you find the despised one trying to infiltrate the system. Then you find the extension of the time of the deceit. Every, is, every area of this chapter is then explained step by step. So what can we expect from the near future? U.S. being more involved in the world and then trying to extend the time of the thousand years of deceit and nations withdrawing themselves from them. And that's the way it should be. Because we have already events in front of us. Reading from Daniel the 11th chapter, what can we understand? We understand the preparation for the autumn feast. Twelfth chapter is the closing of the events of the Gentiles. Speaking of the eleventh chapter where then the restoration of the cities or then the establishment of the vision or the strengthening the vision or making sure the vision then takes place. 
is then a fact related with tabernacling. The rest of the 11th chapter is dedicated for the Gentiles, where they understand the base of the statue where iron does not mix with the clay. And then preparing the nations, some of them strong, some of them weak, for the time of the autumn feast. So these are the objectives. Later on we should evaluate nations coming together and then preparing themselves for the combat. However, we are finding ourselves then at first in the 11th chapter of Daniel in the 4th verse where then we are expecting then China making a deal with the Congo. Because since these steps of formation they must be considered because of the Ezekiel first chapter. You find the big machine of Ezekiel and rounds and rounds being placed in synchronisms. These are simply events that must be synchronized and then what we expecting is 11.5 when then the kingdom of the south becoming strong. It is the regulation of the mines of Congo because of its riches. Speaking of Gentiles, what are we speaking of? Technology. Technology of space, technology of the internet, the new system. You already find thousands of thousands of thousands of Chinese stores making deals, making transactions, having then trade in very reasonable prices and people are buying, buying from everywhere in the world because the system is already showing itself very strong and China must lead the entire world at this time until we come to the second transition where then the Arab nations then joining up and helping this new system with the fuel. Many transport companies or then those related with the logistics will to receive great deals from Arabia because of the petroleum store there is so much that they can make sure then the transport people or the logistics or transportation they can have the fuel required as long as they are responsible for what they do. Then we find 11.5 when the Kingdom of the South then has made a deal with the Kingdom of the East. We understand these areas then being very strong. Not only this, but then you find later the Kingdom of the North being involved with them. And each of them has its own place. So as you isolate those areas of wordings as far as the Kingdom of the North, Kingdom of the East, Kingdom of the South, you understand the despised one, the First and Second Covenant, you already understand then Gog and Magog at the midsection of this chapter. Then you link up with Revelation at the same time. Then you understand the many understandings related with each of these layers so then you can layer yourself from time to time and generation to generation layers of these understandings so then it culminates in Autumn Feast. Later on I'm going to evaluate these then more so then we can draw the proper conclusions. So please stay tuned. Much more coming up.